Hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Today, we're making another quick and easy tutorial. Uh, this one's a little bit more complicated, but we're talking about nether tunnels today, which are kind of a complicated little project, but I think a lot of the tutorials about these can get a little bit uh, too inaccessible for beginners because they get into a lot of really complicated techniques. So I'm going to try and simplify this by just showing you guys a really easy tutorial about what nether tunnels are and how they work. I'm going to try and do it quickly and concisely. And I'm not going to get into too much of the complicated like mapping out your tunnels with coordinates. I'm just going to show you what they are and how they work. And then you can actually try and experiment these with yourself and I think it's easier to learn the basics and then just jump in and start playing with them. Uh, for this tutorial what you will need is uh, some just some random uh, some random blocks. Cobblestone will do some obsidian, uh, a flint and steel, and equipment so that you're safe in the nether. Now, nether tunnels are a way of making faster methods of travel through the world by creating a portal to the nether, and then a portal in the nether that comes out somewhere else, so you travel greater distances, because every one block in the nether is eight blocks in your main world. So, well, I'm just going to basically do this, show you how it works, now, because we're just going to make a quick and dirty tunnel, we're going to put a little bit of a sort of a flag on the tunnel so that we can find it later. You see, the thing about nether tunnels is if you just go and make them without much planning, and I actually think this is a perfectly valid way of making them, uh, I'll do two blocks here. What you'll find is that uh, they don't always come out where you hope they come out. If you're really careful about where you plan them, if you really map out your coordinates and stuff like that, you can cover great distances in your world and they're really really helpful for that but if you uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna have to find my way down in a minute and I don't have uh, enchanted gear I made a fresh world because if you already have uh, portals in they can sort of clash and get a bit complicated so it's uh, it's easier with a nether you haven't populated too much so I have put a big old block uh, a big old tower on the top here and the reason I've built this is uh, one of the tricky things about nether tunnels, and the reason they often take a lot of planning, is you can't be entirely sure that they'll go in the direction you want them to go in, in the world. And as I say, there are more complicated ways of planning for that, but I want to keep this really accessible just to begin with. So, there's a tower into the sky we should be able to see pretty easily, and let's go into the nether. Now, hopefully, we're in a relatively uh, safe bit of nether. I don't want to die. Oh, can't get out of the portal. Okay. Oh, hello. Right near ghasts. This is not too bad, though. Uh, we have ghasts. They'll be coming after us. Uh, but if I just hide behind this obsidian, we'll be okay for now. So, what we need to do is build another portal out of the nether. And the way we want to do this, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to switch this. Ah! <laughs> or I'm going to get hit. Uh, I'm just going to switch this onto uh, peaceful because uh, <laughs> if I don't, I will get destroyed while I'm trying to explain this. And uh, that would be bad for everybody. So, what you want to do is you want to now build a portal in the nether some distance away from this one. And the distance is actually quite specific uh, as a minimum. We need to be at least 16 blocks away, and the reason is that puts this portal out of range of the other portal back in the other world. If you, um, if I were to just build a nether portal here, I could leave from it, but it would just take me back to the same portal as this one, because back in the, uh, the overworld, it will be within that portal's range. So we need to get out of range of that, and the way to do that is to go 16 blocks away. So, uh, I think we count the nether portal, but we'll put a little extra on. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then let's just pop a couple of, uh, a couple of extra blocks on, just because uh, there can be a height difference, so if when you get back to the world where that would put your portal is, uh, maybe it creates a height difference, or maybe it creates uh, an awkwardness, like somewhere where the portal can't spawn, it can sometimes screw you up, then put you back here, and then it can be very difficult to fix. So, uh, we'll just make sure we are definitely definitely a, a little further away. So, every block here, assuming this goes all to plan, every block here will be 
uh, eight blocks back in the other world. And if we're very fortunate, assuming you get the alignment right, if you're very lucky, the <laughs> these will open up exactly in line with the original portal. But they can be a little funky. Uh, that's why a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the tutorials around these involve doing pre-planning and making sure you lay out your ground first. Uh, you can do it like that, but I just want to stick to the basics here. Uh, because the more complications you add, the harder it gets to just explain what these tunnels are for people who don't understand them. So, here's where we came in. We'll go through this. And if we're very lucky, we'll be able to see the original portal from this one. Even if we're not quite in the right direction. Okay. It is night time. It is dark. I see a spruce forest. Uh, if all has... Ah, there we go. Now, the orientation of the portal has been a little off, so it hasn't gone straight the way we were facing. And like I say, when you, when you don't plan out perfectly, that can be one of the risks. Oh, but it has gone in the direction of the portal as we built it in the nether, so there we go. Uh, the This portal here has flipped... But, let me just, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll build a, another tower over here. Before we go back on foot. Uh, oh, I'm being very dumb here. I'm not making a tower I can climb back down. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll, uh, I'll pop a, uh, just a, a few occasional steps along the side. So what I'll do is I'll go back in the... Is that tall enough? I think it is. So I'll go back in the uh, the tunnel and we'll hop back through the other way. And we should be able to just turn around and see that same block of cobbles we've just built. Now this is not a hugely great distance uh, it wouldn't be too... There we go. It might not show up on the video. I hope it does. I'll walk towards it to prove it. But, uh, yeah. So, it can be tricky to get them right. Sometimes you'll make these and they'll come out either, either the completely wrong orientation or they'll come out in completely the wrong place. But that is how you make a nether tunnel. Now, this is not, like I say, this is not a hugely difficult distance to walk. But... Uh, you could make them like this in the nether and just go 8 by 8 by 8 by 8 if you wanted, if you didn't want the complications of planning. Because if you get the calculations very wrong, uh, you can get yourself very, very lost. But that's the principle. So if you're interested in learning about nether tunnels, uh, there are videos out there and there are articles out there about how to turn on your coordinates and obviously plan out number to number the exact distances. And that is, if you like that level of planning, if you're into that kind of thing, uh, it's a way of doing it, uh, and I recommend it. Um, I recommend you look those up if you want to get into that really, really detailed version. But what I wanted to make this video for was just to show you, there we go, basically how it works, and uh, how you can build them really quickly, easily, just to start playing with them. Because... That's where the fun is. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, please do like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you all in the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.